There are new developments in the case of a Chicago woman who vanished in the Bahamas nearly three weeks ago. Just hours ago, the family of Taylor Casey making a call to action to enlist the help of the FBI to bring more awareness to her disappearance. Taylor's mother making an emotional plea for more help today, which is her daughter's 42nd birthday. The pain I felt 42 years ago while birthing you doesn't compare to the pain I feel on today. You miss it out of my mind. And I just want the senators to put light a fire under the people in the, in the Bahamas' feet so they can um, correctly search for my child and help to bring my child home. In other developments, the lead investigator in the Bahamas now suspended after concerning voice messages were leaked. It's unclear what they were about, and there's no indication the scandal is related to Taylor's disappearance. Also, her phone was found in the ocean in water that is 50 feet deep. Investigators in the Bahamas have not been able, though, to recover any information from that phone. Now, Taylor was in the Bahamas completing a yoga certification course. She was last seen June 19th. News Nation's Brian Enton spoke with Taylor's mother, who questions the integrity of this investigation. I feel like my child had two strikes against her when she went over there to that yoga retreat. And one was that she's black and the other is that she's transgender. All right, so, so many layers to this. Joining me now is News Nation Law and Justice contributor Jennifer Koffendoffer, who was also a former FBI special agent. Jennifer, so great to see you. Thank you for your time. We have heard Taylor's mother speaking out. What is your biggest takeaway from today's press conference by Taylor's mother? Well, Nicole, thank you for having me, first of all. but. Listen, it's got to be so heart-wrenching when I hear all of these family members and moms speaking of their losses, because right now uh, she is missing. It's heart-wrenching. But the bottom line is there is a legal anti-shea for the FBI that is detached to the Bahamas. And indeed, we know that they have been assisting with things like uh, the phone and anything else the Bahamian government has asked. But it's very rare for the FBI to come in and conduct any sort of investigation without uh, the invitation of the Bahamian police and without their cooperation. And from my understanding, they have been cooperating and the FBI has been helping. They're just not leading the investigation. So, so Jennifer, what should be happening in this investigation right now, you know, and based on your knowledge, what seems to be happening? Well, a couple of things. First of all, that phone I do find to be important, but also found Nicole was her journal. And I think that's very relevant, uh, that both of those items were found uh, by canines, which is so amazing and incredible at that depth. Uh, but what's concerning is apparently the FBI has not been able to crack the code. And again, this was submerged in water. So it's going to depend really uh, with what is on the cloud. Uh, the other item I think that they need to look for are obviously any witnesses that might have possibly been up or, or seen her. You know, what are the details concerning what happened just prior to her disappearance? You know, is, is there more happening behind the scenes? You know, you just mentioned the fact that her phone was recovered. Again, Taylor's journal was also recovered. And is it just that maybe authorities are not updating the family? That can happen, especially when you're talking about something that's happening overseas. And again, this is very interesting, of course, that when the, one of the detectives on the case has been suspended. Now, my understanding is it's related to actual cases involving him taking bribes, possibly. These are just the allegations and these vo voice notes, I guess, uh, came to light. Uh, so we don't know that they have anything directly to do with this disappearance. Uh, but certainly it's concerning any time your lead detective is under investigation and suspicion. Yeah. Last question for you. I mean, what's going to be crucial to getting this case solved and getting some answers for Taylor's family? Well, I think definitely persistence and certainly keeping her case in the media. If we can keep this sort of uh, media going, then that means there will be pressure on the Bahamian authorities and on the Bureau also to maintain their involvement in this case.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.